topic. Um, okay. So I'm going to play this clip of um, this woman who is, I guess, like she's a gaming influencer type. She uh, works for this channel called G4, which I, from oh, what yeah. I'm hearing, used to be like really great a few years ago. And much like SNL has descended into woke garbage and so i'm gonna play a clip of this woman um she goes by the name frosk i don't know her real name on twitter she's frosk urine or something like that and she talks about well i'm just gonna play it because i want to see what you gals think of this she goes from talking about a game red dem Redem red dead redemption and then kind of ham fists in the like topic game of sexism <laughs> and gate have you played this yeah, I play GTA way more, but I have played this. Okay. Mm. I've seen it played. I, I uh the only thing I know about this game is that you're allowed to shoot dogs, so I'm I'm opposed. You also have a horse, you can kick, feed kick it. dogs, I think. I don't know. It bothers me. All right, here we go. Good. Stop right there. But I'm here to tell you, and you're gonna have to cut this B-roll in a second, because it's uh it's done. And what I think I do think that there is a larger discussion about Red Dead Online and that we need to have eventually about game design versus immersive experience and comparing the Red Dead Online sure, multiplayer experience versus the solo player one. <laughs> but I actually okay, first of all, what are, what are what are our first thoughts just on looks alone? <laughs> she looks like someone, and I'm trying to think who it is. Miley, yeah. Miley Cyrus. It's like from a weird movie. I don't know. I'm like, who is that? Like Robin Hood or something? I don't know. Peter she's Pan. Me, she's giving me sexy um, elf vibes. What do you? Yeah, think? yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Too. Like Peter Pan or, or something. It was. It's something weird. I don't know. She <laughs> could be like a sexy, you know, like woodland creature. Like uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Elf, like a nymph type. That's exactly what she looks like. Yeah. I've but had... that makes it sound like it's a good thing. Like for Wait, is that when a girl? She, soon as she went on screen. It's a girl, I think. Okay, but, you I know, we have to be assume. careful. <laughs> yeah. But, like, her nose ring, it just, like, popped out at me and attacked me. Instantly when she was on the screen, I just immediately kind of cringed. I don't know. It's yeah, just the whole not, look together. She's not bad looking. She's She appears to me like the type of feminist that goes out of her way to look worse, to prove a point. She actually has like Taylor saying. Swift. Yeah. yeah. Except, like, her mom, maybe. And I went through this phase, like, in my youth like in college like 20 like 19 to 22 and then i and then i uh i was like oh why is why are no boys talking to me and then i was like oh i guess it's, it's time to skip some haircuts anyway someone said machine gun lezzy yes i've heard machine gun lezzy and machine gun karen too oh my god that is definitely what it is yes descriptions okay here we go i to talk about something so much more important than red dead online Sexism in gaming. Ugh. In joining G4, <laughs> she gets a clap. Tomato, they tomato, start, tomato. Person clapping. They start yeah, clapping right. before she said anything. And we're trying Throwing to figure things. out how many people it sounds if like. Got are guns in this. Head, like, you better fucking clap when she says this. As we go along this clip, listen and try to guess like how many people you think are in this live studio audience. I don't have the answer, but uh, it doesn't sound like that many. <laughs> This is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I'm no here. Idea. He's, I'm listening. he's yeah. petrified. And joining G4, <laughs> I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Ooh. It's somehow talk to him, Frost. It has a way to sell yourself. So I guess the previous who was the previous host? Because looking at him, I don't know if any <laughs> Olivia of them Munn was not. like the main chick that used uh. to be the G4 girl. Olivia Munn, which you, Candace, you are familiar with because I was, I was, because I had never heard of G4 and you were like, oh yeah, I know G4. I used, to, and you liked uh, Olivia Munn. So yeah. you are aware. Mm -hmm. And what was it um, like in your experience watching it back in the day? Was it, what was like the vibe? Because I've heard people say, oh, it's like old school SNL. Oh, they poke fun at like men so and it, woman dynamics. Like it was similar to like the man show, right? Where you okay. have like, yeah, you know what I mean? It was like that kind of a vibe. But I think, so when you have a girl like her who's intentionally trying not to be like your typical feminine female, right? Like she's got the big jacket on and the short hair and the piercings and the tattoos. Like, you know, like that's just her expression of herself but then you have someone like olivia munn which was like very feminine she would wear more revealing clothing and she was very sexy she's on the cover of playboy all of these things so the way that i took it back in the day was like you don't 
have to be a boy to play video games. Like you can be a pretty girl that likes feminine things and still enjoy video games. Like that's not a taboo. But now it's almost like we're kind of going backwards and we're yeah. saying, well, you have to kind of be more masculine to enjoy these things. Or at least that's the way that I I interpreted it initially. Right. Like if you um, express yourself in a feminine way, you're somehow trying to be like a pick me or right, you're a fraud, mm -hmm. which sucks for the people that actually enjoy expressing themselves that way. And it's it's very it's very hypocritical now uh, and and kind of more divided up, I guess, by type. But yeah, uh, from this angle, it looks like she's wearing uh, my grandfather's old toupee. <laughs> yeah. Why do they do that? Like get a good <laughs> haircut at least. Uh, she's trying to prove ones. a point, Leanne. Why does she have to be pretty for you? Anyway, yeah, like I don't, I don't know. Just she's, she doesn't have to. Just the hair looks like a bowl cut. Like why? Just skip. There's so many other short styles. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> okay. Who can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment? That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Hold on. I want to know, honestly, let's go around because I'm sure all of us have gotten comments and messages like of fans that have been like, I've jerked off to you or I think you're hot. I mean, do are you offended by by messages you get from guys, girls, whoever saying, oh, I've jerked off to you or oh, I f find you really hot or whatever, no. et cetera. <laughs> Yes. You are offended, Brittany? Yes. Because they're treating me like a prostitute. Do I look like a fucking hooker to you? <laughs> if you're going to act like an animal and chimp out, maybe you belong in a cage. Cage yourself. <laughs> so that's my take on it because that's not really on my brand. Like, yeah, yeah, I have like a curvier figure that doesn't automatically mean I'm a prostitute. So yeah, I don't personally appreciate anything it. Anything sexual. I don't know why they feel the need. That's weird to me. Like if you're not doing anything, you're just gaming and you're just chilling. Like, why do you got to say shit like that? Like, it's not like you're trying and bending over and squatting for subs and shit. So <laughs> I'd really, that I don't get it. Like, why would you say it? They do it on purpose to be dickheads, but it is annoying, especially if you're just sitting there. I think like, it's, even if you're a girl who's not, if your sexuality is not part of your like online brand, I think it's naive to think that men will will not still oh, yeah. let I'm you know that they will. find you attractive. <laughs> like to expect no um, attention that way, I think is to be naive. Unless you are like, you know, actually gross looking. Um, but I think it's it's to be expected but yeah it's mm -hmm. um do you Brittany? do you respond to these men at all do you ignore them like how do you handle unwanted attention? yeah i i usually just ignore them and so i handle it the same way i handle cat calling any sort of unwanted male attention essentially they're they're simps and some of them turn to sour simps as leanne <laughs> said i think that some of them do it on purpose because it's like why would you take the why do you think there's a social cue to when somebody if they're dressing more conservative right mm -hmm. to sit, then tell them oh i jerked off to you like you're kind of being incendiary and it's gross and i think it is weird um so i it do agree weird. With especially with said. you it's weird if you're dressed conservatively and stuff then they're definitely doing it on purpose to just be douchebags like it's so it's actually really corny like they need new things to come up with because they've been doing the same shit and thinking it's like funny or oh ha, ha, i talked about her tits like it's so dumb I think like get better insults and shit like i think with britney i think men see you as a challenge because you don't put your sexuality mm -hmm. out there at all and they think just like women like to think like we could change a man or or get a bad boy and like break him yeah. and make him night or whatever <laughs> i think of men look at you britney and they're like oh i'm gonna get her to come out of her shell that's what they think oh i'm gonna get her i'll be the one to break her mm -hmm. Like a glow stick. I mean, they do it with lesbians. They're like, oh, I could probably fuck her. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it's wanted, but I think men are yeah. like, it's a, it's an added uh, challenge for them mm -hmm. to be like, ooh, this is why people have asked me for like naked photos, even though you can get them. The internet is full of naked photos, but I think <laughs> the people that ask me for them are the ones that are like, mm -hmm. oh, like, yep. I don't know. There's something in there that, that they're just like, I want to be the one to see you naked. I don't know. I'm not a man. Yeah, I agree with that assessment. <laughs> Whoop. Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just 
obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> like I'm sick of people lecturing us all the time. God damn. Everything you watch, like, fuck. And I don't know if you girls picked this up. I'm watching this. I'm like, oh, they really read other people's reviews well it's like well then why aren't why aren't those people on camera mm -hmm. are they even are they even worse looking you know what i mean like it, she's acknowledging a type of hierarchy within this organization like well i you know how does she know i'm not thinking of that dude naked right now i could just be <laughs> objectifying him <laughs> she doesn't just, know the audience <laughs> i just think that's odd maybe that's how these companies work they read other people's reviews but it's like oh i don't if it's about the gaming and the reviews, like it's you know, especially in her role, if these if this is how she feel, why why wouldn't she advocate for, you know, Sheila in the back <laughs> mm -hmm. to read yeah. the review? She's like she's been put in this position of being the on camera chick, but she apparently can't handle so what comes with it. <laughs> don't contribute to the reviews we absolutely do but it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us that's why we're x play and not adam play we have done the experiment and controlled uh, for the very the obvious class adam Who's will that? read a script written by the <laughs> same writer that i will read the other half of the script for but i'll be the one i can't get over this obnoxious clap it's like he i don't know who this guy is but it's like this is the clap of a man who he's doing that big motion because he wants to be Swift, seen by he mm. wants to be seen clapping like that so he can be featured he's on the camera. biggest male feminist of them all he wants you to know like look at he's me. the simp clap yeah, yeah. Look at me being supportive it's not enough to just be like yeah he's obviously doing this it's it's all a big yeah signal the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens to me when it does. Both things can be true, that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam and that all receives special flame just for being a woman. And I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play. Half of our producers and writers are women. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby. Zipper. It goes on and on and on. Former She's writers that us. are now on ATOS <laughs> like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something but you can't quite put your okay you're all women so you probably <laughs> this. she's doing that that you can hear that like tone in her voice that like comes out look like how mad right, she looks right you before you're it. about to cry at 3 45 you can hear that she's about she's like uh, two seconds from crying. She looks like Jeffree Star there. You can't objectify <laughs> me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow Boom. less qualified yeah. to speak it's on really something, tough. but you can't quite put your finger on why. Either. So it's like, uh, to me, it, this is tricky because it's like, are we talking about sexism in gaming? Or is is this just like, and the fact that her, I'm watching her voice break like this, I'm like, okay, to me, this sounds like her own insecurities are coming out about her own I don't know if it's looks. I don't know if it's talent. Yeah, it is. It's she's mad because everyone liked the other girl. And now they're talking about her still when she's there. Clearly. And it's like, I, yeah, <laughs> I think she's projecting. Um, I don't doubt that they're more critical of women because I've certainly found that to be true compared to my male counterparts. If I do certain things, depending on what it is. But at the same time, she's getting too emotional. And I think she's projecting. Hmm. And right. Is she... Her, comparing herself to her predecessors like is it our looks an easy thing to point to because that's where the biggest difference or is she thinking i'm actually less as she puts it qualified <laughs> to, to be it's kind of inappropriate how like personal she's making it in my opinion mm -hmm. okay well, expand on that that's interesting 
because it's clearly a projection she's like when you guys tell me that i'm not good enough like it's very much a personalizing when this isn't about her like mm -hmm. it's supposed to be about the topic she's talking about or whatever also, topic they set and also they don't know her personally so yeah mm -hmm. so it just seems inappropriate in the most literal sense of the word yeah and I wonder if she's okay. She's about to get to the part where she's uh, she. I admits, think she's in the wrong line of work, honestly, for that. <sighs> right. I and I know, and it's like I, it's good to hear you say, uh, Venti, that you actually can recognize. Like, okay, there is sexism that exists in mm -hmm. the gaming world. But Everywhere. Again, like, no one is <sighs> forcing you into this position like you do. Is she too thin skinned to to handle this this job? But here's where she lets it lets everybody know <laughs> that they've that they've ruined her day. <laughs> Even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam, but you have no problem with he's part of it. You're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for no, 2022, she's letting them ruin her day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She needs to start taking responsibility, yeah. not in the sense of like for other people's actions, but in the sense of how she feels. She is in control of how she feels and she needs to take ownership in that. Right. Absolutely. And it, it would be much cooler if she was like, yeah, just like, I don't know if she's in the comments or whatever, or like, or even on Twitter. I mean, it's her, if it's her handle and she's not speaking, uh, like she should part just of the fuck with them back. Yeah. She'd just be like, Oh, fuck off. Like, That's I, don't what care I would if, do. Yeah. I don't care if you yeah. find me fuckable, whatever. Like check out this review. I would just, and then people, you know, they would respect her way more and probably would, not really say anything. And they would stop at some point. Mm -hmm. Like if she, I don't know how new she is. I think it would but... get worse. If you start responding to people, it always gets worse. And I think if you're going to be a public persona in any field, it doesn't matter if you're hot or not, like you're opening yourself up to criticism. And unfortunately, it's part of the job. I don't think it necessarily should be, but you have to kind of learn to separate yourself from your public persona. And she, it sounds like she's either very very new or just very bad at that mm -hmm. and it's always gonna be something right if it's not like you're not hot enough it would be that you know she had a tick when she was on a live thing or whatever it might be um just don't read the comments right right yeah, yeah. Exactly. i think that she could troll but like as you said not responding is probably for the best for her situation in particular because clearly she doesn't have the ability to banter she comes across to me as someone who doesn't really have a good sense of humor overall mm -hmm. otherwise she wouldn't be this upset about it yeah, exactly. and so passionate so yeah. Yeah. i probably respond to too many trolls and like frank will be like stop feeding the trolls but like mm -hmm. i think most of the time if i'm funny okay it's all good but she is not able to do that so so that she is truly just feeding the trolls and letting them know how much they're getting to her mm -hmm. which trolls love they love seeing i know that they, that's their kryptonite man or whatever you want to call it not that that's the opposite that's yeah, what they're here for <laughs> it's kind of like it's a, it's her kryptonite they love it. it seems yeah so a bit more self-reflective and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard Preachy. to make free content for you if you don't like it don't watch it peace Look at her, she's about to cry. Hey, hey. I know. That I do kind of feel bad for. Now I always see the machine gun Kelly, whoever said that. Because I, now I just, that's what I, they look very similar. Oh my god, the screaming. What, the whole like, don't like it, don't watch it thing. I agree with the sentiment in terms of like advice to someone, but like, if somebody wants to hate watch you, they're going to do it and they're going to do it because they feel like doing that. Right. I think Venti, you, I've watched videos of you where like people, oh God, it was one of the first things I ever saw that you did. People were attacking you in a game. Was it Grand Theft Auto? And like, yeah. people, I don't know if they were like raping you or like yeah. mugging you or like stealing your car. They were hacking but the server and stream sniping me. And I like started being dramatic about it because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> And I, I feel like there's a certain type of person that that would enjoy getting under your skin that way. And like, who knows if you were like playing that up a little bit because it's because it's funny. Oh, I definitely um, was. I was playing it up one thousand mm -hmm. percent. I okay. I thought it was hysterical. So I I don't know if there's a comparison here. Like they like getting, but you had a sense of humor about it, and you're also playing into it. And she's just like she's a little bit too hard and stiff. And again, like yeah. She's Very letting mad. them know that they've that they ruined her day, and she's like, "Let's all for 2022 be a little bit." It's like, oh man, you're like you're being very preachy about something that you are just having an inability handling well.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you do this, you really cannot let strangers ruin your day. Like, who fucking cares what they say? Like, who, if they're not in your life, in your inner life for real, who gives a shit what they say about you? Like, mm -hmm. they're just, who cares? Just close yeah. your phone. I always have to remind myself, like, unless you're, like, making me come or you're helping my business in some way or, like, yeah. you're contributing to my life in a positive way, like, what you say matters so little. And Yeah, it's stupid. I don't know you. I don't give a shit what you say. You're probably worse off than me who knows like fuck off how were as all, all fellow e-girls on this like did any of you have a time like maybe early on or like a particular comment or something that someone said that got under your skin but you know like really. back that maybe you didn't mm -hmm. handle in the beginning for sure almost everything and i felt like because you don't know how to separate yourself and you do take everything personal and you're not used to that in, in like your day-to-day -day life. You're not walking down the street and you have someone just randomly insult you or, you know, tell you to fuck off or that, you know, people in your life are a cuck or all, there have been horrible, horrible things that have been said on my profile. Um, it just takes a lot of practice. And then again, just like that separation and realizing that that person has their own baggage and it has to do with them. has nothing to do with you. That must be really bad where they're spending their energy yeah it i don't know when if you realize everything is a projection it can also hurt sometimes when you feel like everyone's projecting at you constantly but if you just remember that when they insult you it's a projection it kind of helps yeah for sure for show for sure. show all right i got mm -hmm. a link here of olivia munn because i wasn't entirely familiar with her so this was the previous post i don't know how old this is i don't know if this video was put up in 2014. I don't know if like if that is when Olivia Munn was on G4, but here is a clip of her. A fetish for everything. Maybe she wanted to coordinate. No, if, if this is something that like Sharapova. Oh my like, God! Look at the cell phones. Tennis, but in total, <gasps> oh oh my God! Aesthetic. What the? <laughs> Wow, uh, she looks like Isabella Riley. Depending on how much juice you have down there, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people. I am a juicier person. I, yeah, I, I, no, every I day is a heavy four day. For yeah, me. so I, I think mm. a couple people out there notice. You know, I actually change up my, my panties during around the net probably almost every day. Actually, I've never noticed. Wait, hold on. That. Oh, yeah, it just came out again. Uh, Sorry. What? Do we need a <laughs> Get it out. You're doing the washing machine, or what are you doing? <laughs> what is she talking about? A team? Oh, her panties. Bro, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. So clearly a much more sexual approach than the new host. Yeah. Yeah. She seems like she's having fun with it. So, I mean. Do you think, Brittany, as a gamer, would, would this make you take her less seriously because she is having fun with her sexuality? Wait, why would I be taking gamer seriously? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> true. Smell it. Like That's like 12 iPhones yeah. worth. <laughs> well, my phones. It's a lot of money. Truffles. Coming in at number three today. Wait, wow. what year was that from? Because that shirt is very like early two thousands. Like when? Was oh that yeah. From? You can tell when her shirt's from. That's like Laguna Beach. <laughs> oh, era. I thought yeah. the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Is it? Is it ruched at the side? I don't know. It's no, like how it loose like it a, is. Kind of like a baby oh, doll. Like a baby dress doll. Kind and of. she couldn't wear it by itself. Because I was like, damn, what's have, this from? Shit. <laughs> you have too much side boob. So she had to go with the white. Undertop. And the layering, you know, the layering was like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's good because you can like wear a, like a pusher bra with it. Yeah. Clearly she's going for tasteful cleavage. Yeah. This is <laughs> a fun bit. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe That's somebody in the way, chat right? remembers the year that this is from. <laughs> okay and then i did an impression this feels extra like masturbatory but you know what it's my show <laughs> and then i did a uh an impression of her because that's what i do i am inspired by unstable women so i'm gonna throw up now that you guys have seen uh what the real what the real girl was like here is me doing an impression of her Dot com. Uh, this is from open, Friday. Um, so her name wasn't Foreskin. I apologize. No. Frost. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh uh -oh. She's here to confront us. Like <laughs> 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 type. You're frost bitten. Oh no. 
know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really tired of all the sexism everywhere. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers better stop jerking off to me. Okay? That's I guy. smell like burnt hair and truly that isn't stopping you. I talk to you like you're retarded because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now if you're checking off to your girl. It's weird. Wait, what? Go fast. And then they all clap. Now, now, now. Now press F if you're not jerking off to me. <laughs> See? Why are you guys all so obsessed with jerking off and also not jerking off? Thanks for the F chat. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, are you, sound have chat. you ever jerked off to me? Uh, not today. Why not? Is it because I don't look like I'm not as bangable as Olivia Munn? <laughs> God, yes. Dix, have you ever jerked off to me? Uh, no, no, I have not. Why is that? Is it because I don't like I'm not hot to you? Uh, no, uh, I have <laughs> standards. <laughs> Just standards. Ryan, have you ever jerked off to me? No. Wow. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had no written it has response. Nothing to like, do with the fact that you're an insufferable bitch. It has everything to do with the fact that you're just that goddamn ugly. <laughs> Jeremy, answer me this: Have you ever jerked off to me? I jerked off to the dislike ratio in your video the other day. And it was damn. <laughs> good. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I don't exist to be easy on the eyes for you. Odin, have you ever jerked off to your girl? It's not even in the fucking thing. Yes. There Odin, it is. Odin. 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 Answer the question, Odin. 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 What in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> it's the question. It's answer the question. Good. Answer the question, Odin. Have I, you I, ever... I can answer unequivocally no. Wow. <laughs> Wow, another surprise. Well, why not? <clears throat> People keep confusing me for prepubescent Justin Bieber. And they keep jerking off to it. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid-transition. <laughs> I do not exist oh, to be easy on the eyes for you. Jenna Jameson does not exist. To be easy on the eyes. <laughs> to, to be fair, Frost, Frost, I think you are definitely more manly than post-Trump Eminem. That's for sure. You definitely are more manly than yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim Kardashian did not get breast and ass implants to be looked at. Women on video platforms shouldn't be looked at. Close your eyes. <laughs> In fact, if you don't think I have a fuckable voice, close your ears. <laughs> My long on accent immediately came out. Like all the prep work I did is gone. You're running your fingers through my short, sticky hair. <laughs> I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pocket, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. <laughs> I am not... I am not crying. I am not crying. Uh, and I am not... <laughs> Oh, yeah, this one more. And I'm not the only one that's being objectified here. X ray, girl, she is a beautiful young oriental. She is not. <laughs> <laughs> For you to stroke your chopstick to. <laughs> Did you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. I was like, I'm just gonna slip in random Home Alone quotes. <laughs> like that's it. I'm not gonna play the whole whole thing. But I don't know. I, just, I like how like, you use Oriental instead of Asian. Because it, I feel like these woke people, they they get so into segregating into groups, they don't realize how racist that they come off. Yeah. My grandma still calls herself Oriental, so I mean, I think it's funny when white people get offended by stuff that they're not even a part of. What kind it was of literally the politically correct way to say it like 15 years ago. My mom used to say it was just normal. Yeah. Oriental sounds like prettier. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oriental. It's from the Orient. What yeah. About the rugs. What do we that sounds like exotic and. 
cool. I think we still yeah. call the rugs oriental rugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or are they <laughs> too? They're racist rugs, probably. Rugsist. Yeah. Did she see that? Do you think that she'll see that? The girl uh, on D4? I, I've, I check here and there to see if she's blocked me. Mm. <laughs> she might just start dissing you on there. Oof. You know, I was aware that that might happen. See, she hasn't blocked me yet. Um, oh. yeah, if they ha- bring back this tracks from like 2017 from YouTube, that would be way better than what we got now online. <laughs> so I'm all for that. 